Hi and welcome to this lesson where we're going to talk about how thiazide diuretics lead to hyponatremia. Hyponatremia is defined as a serum sodium of less than 135 milliequivalents per liter. Normal serum sodium ranges between 135 and 145. Chronic hyponatremia is typically asymptomatic. However, it can present with mild cognitive impairment, gait disturbances, lethargy, and muscle cramps. While these are helpful in ruling in hyponatremia, because they are not specific to hyponatremia, they cannot be used to rule out other disorders. So how do thiazide diuretics lead to hyponatremia? As a reminder, thiazide diuretics inhibit the sodium chloride co-transporter, which leads to decreased sodium reabsorption along the distal convoluted tubule and ultimately decreased extracellular fluid volume. It's the decrease in extracellular fluid volume that stimulates other mechanisms that lead to hyponatremia. And one of those mechanisms is increased water intake. The excess water intake will dilute out the serum sodium and lead to hyponatremia. And the other is decreased water excretion by the kidneys. So how do diuretics lead to decreased water excretion? Well, there's two main mechanisms. The first is increased antidiuretic hormone secretion. As a reminder, the hypothalamus has two types of receptors, osmoreceptors and baroreceptors. In the case of baroreceptors, as blood pressure decreases, there's a dramatic rise in the release of vasopressin from the posterior pituitary, which then stimulates the principal cells in the collecting duct to insert aquaporin-containing vesicles in the apical membrane, which then increases water permeability and ultimately water reabsorption. The other mechanism is decreased glomerular filtration rate, which leads to increased reabsorption of the filtrate along the proximal convoluted tubule. Under normal circumstances, at a normal glomerular filtration rate, which we see here on the x-axis, there's about 65% of the filtrate is reabsorbed. However, as the GFR decreases, more of the filtrate is reabsorbed along the proximal tubule. And this happens regardless of whether it's thiazide diuretics. Rather, if there is a decrease in extracellular fluid volume, there's a reflexive uh, increase in water reabsorption by decreasing GFR, so more of the filtrate can be reabsorbed. Thanks, and good luck.